Hi everyone, this is Michael Reyes from HardwareGeeks.com again, and if you saw our previous unboxing video of the HP Media Smart Server LX195, you saw that I removed the side panel of the Media Smart Server and stopped because I wasn't sure how to get to the hard drive. But I figured it out and I'm gonna give you guys a quick demo on how to upgrade the hard drive on your HP Media Smart Server LX195. This side panel right here is screwed on with two screws in the back. I've already removed the two screws. Once the screws are removed, you just slide the panel back. And it comes off easily. Then you have this right here. And you, you pretty much are stuck. But there are two screws right here and here that I've already removed. Once the two screws are removed, just place the LX195 on its side. There's a little latch right here. Push back a little, lift up. Hard drive is exposed. It won't fall down by itself. There's a little latch right there that holds it in place. Then to remove the hard drive, all you do is remove this screw, this screw, and these two screws, and the hard drive will um, come out. This hard drive right here is a Western Digital drive. I'm trying to see how much storage space HP gave me. It's a 640 gig hard drive. <clears throat> and if we look inside, in my unboxing video, I said that we couldn't change the memory, but you do have access to the memory and can easily remove it. It comes standard with a gig of memory, but you can increase that to two gigs or four gigs, whatever you have. I, I believe I believe HP told me that the maximum you can put in is two gigs, because uh, with four gigs of memory, it becomes a bit unstable. So um, if you have a four gig in um, memory memory on stick, um, you can you can put it in there, but there's no guarantee it will, it will run stable but with the two gigs it will according to HP anyway I personally haven't tested that yet so there you have it that's how you open and replace the hard drive and the memory for those of you curious on what it looks like inside here's a close-up view the fan that's right here is connected right there so if the fan ever dies you can easily replace it CPU is right here, it's an Atom chip. And that's pretty much it.